Hi everyone, my name's Scott and I'm Sarah and welcome to another episode of Take 5 with Art where we stop and look at a beautiful piece of artwork. In today's episode we're looking at a, a really quite stunning piece of artwork called The Land Replenishes by Melbourne artist Oliver Ashworth Martin. So this piece is part of a series where Oliver really explores nature and uh, the environment, and tries to capture them through his artwork. Sarah, what do you think of Oliver's works? Uh, I agree, they're absolutely stunning. Um, he works in a style that reminds me a lot of the surrealist artists um, and they were really trying to capture the state of being in a dream mm. and so this concept of or this idea of a dreamscape really comes to mind when I see these pieces they remind me of something that I I vaguely recognize but you know I can't quite grasp what I'm looking at is it trees is it a mountain I'm not sure but I do still recognize it as a world and so it's got that dreamlike quality to me the more I have come to look at works like this the more and, and the more that I have slowed down mm. and I've taken taken heed of all the messages of taking being five. taking five being mindful slowing down taking a break I have come to really actually appreciate some of these works because it, it's like you said it this is a real dreamscape I am very much primed by Oliver's title called The Land Replenishes. So I am immediately put into a state of, oh, this is a landscape. And then from there, my imagination is taken through, taken over. I see trees, I see waterfall. I actually, it's kind of like, if you kind of just slightly cross your eyes a little bit and do the magic eye thing, it's kind of like, you can see mountains in the back and you see a little bit of a hint of a desert, you know, a big tree in the front, bushes everywhere, water flowing everywhere. It's, it's quite, this is almost like a fantasy artwork, yeah. not, not, not an abstract yeah. artwork. I mean, a piece like this, if you're not able to make that connection with something that's recognizable like we've just talked about seeing a world and seeing a landscape in there it really comes down to looking for areas of interest within the painting so where is their detail balanced out against quieter areas where has he used a range of tones so in this piece of the whites are really really bright mm. and then you've got that bright light blue but there's a full range of tones everything you know the blues gradually get lighter. Um, so there's a really beautiful variety in the tones of light blue. On that note, what do you think? Do you like this piece? Do you see the same landscape that we do? And if not, what else do you see? I, I would really be interested to hear what else that you might see from a work like this. So please leave your, your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it's taking a few moments to look at and appreciate this piece of artwork. And now, get back to work.